Now I'll open it up to the subcommittee members of comments. Representative. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I am going to express uh, my own personal soul feelings about this, uh, and I haven't sh I shared them with you, but I don't think anyone else. Uh, this, this subcommittee worked hard and long on 1607. We took essentially a work in progress and turned it into something that was meaningful, that addressed the issues this subcommittee was concerned about in an effective way. Uh, we pass it to the Senate. One of the things that made me vote for it, uh, in addition to other fact criteria, was the fact that it was revenue neutral for the state. The substance of the amendments that are being proposed in this bill, as I understand it, are to change that. And instead of the bill being revenue neutral for the state now, it will be a revenue uh, def deficient for the, both the state and for the local taxpayers. Uh, I will not support that. I will vote against it, and I will speak on the floor against it. Uh, that was one of the key issues that was used to justify the whole concept to begin with, namely revenue neutrality for the state. Uh, since I perceive that to be the cornerstone of this amendment, uh, I am going to hope that the subcommittee would join me in recommending either that this bill be sent to interim study or just ITL. I was going to ask the subcommittee is that we do not have time to deal with this and get it out and request time. My personal feeling is, is that uh, we stick with what we passed. We worked very hard on that and we had like about eight sessions to improve that bill. And in the absence of time, we stick with the House's position, and I agree with uh, Representative Hess that we enter a study Senate Bill 372. That we recommend a study 372. Other members of the subcommittee, Representative Osborne. Let me get this straight. If we interim study this, 1607 is still alive. Though. Yes. Okay. Representative This whole process reminds me of when um, Jim Rubens passed in SB2. And we then spent the next 10 years, are we still doing it? Modifying it around the edges because it was half baked when it was passed. Uh, I have a real problem with <coughs> interim studying this and leaving 1607 alive because what happens then? Because we won't have figured out what this does. I really would like to see a crystal note on how much this costs the state. Uh, but they're doing this because otherwise it costs some school districts a great deal of money. Or they believe it does. We don't have the time. So, so what are we going to do if the Senate passes 1607 with their own amendment and it comes back? We don't have the time then either. We will go to a committee of conference. But on 372, do you uh, support the interim study? Yes. Representative Olm. I concur with Representative Hess's comments. I think the work we did was to uh, look for uh, unintended consequences, plug any loopholes, and make a solid bill out of a pretty good concept. And I think doing that again would be a major task uh, at this point. So I would support the uh, concept of putting 372 to our study and dealing with the Senate on 1607. Then Subcommittee, I've heard from all the subcommittee members. Uh, somebody want to make a motion? I move uh, we recommend the full committee in room study. Second by Representative Ohm. Any further discussion, Representative If I could just supplement that. I, in, in doing so, I would, of course, uh, recommend that all of the proposed amendments to the Senate bill as introduced by Senator Forsyth, by Representative Osgood, and whomever else, 
uh, be uh, put into the file so that that uh, those be appropriately uh, the subject of interim study. Right. I, I asked Representative Osgood to pass out two proposed amendments from Representative Porter, and, and they'll be part of the file. Mm -hmm. Then Representative uh, uh, Is there any way to get some kind of fiscal note on this? Suggestion, and I will ask that the LPA prepare a question on the process. Yeah, on that point, I suspect LBAO's policy is not to do fiscal notes on amendments until they're adopted, uh, either by the committee or by on the floor. So perhaps we could ask DOE, which is represented here, if they could do an informal fiscal analysis of the amendment. You know, it's 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 outside the uh, outside the official uh, uh, channels, but it's the only way we have to get any sort of uh, I, uh, grasp on, on the cost, unless DRA has some intuitive Who's knowledge that they'd like to share. Thank you, DOE. <laughs> <laughs> you help us out. Um, yes, we we can draft that for you. Thank you. And would the DRA work with them? We would appreciate. That. Okay, any other comments from the subcommittee members? And all in favor of putting 372 in income study, say aye or aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Let's go home. Then I call the subcommittee meeting. Uh, 372. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.